How you doing, Vinyl Community? It's Jeff, Glowing 00 Cabbage here, back for another video. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video, it's been really busy. Got a lot of things going on, um, but I'm really having fun with the Vinyl Community still, and uh, even in Facebook, it's been fun. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I've got a lot of stuff going on. As you know, I'm going to be uh, a father, uh, so it's pretty exciting. It's something that um, Zeke and I, Zeke Geek and I, are, are sharing almost a same time kind of thing so that's pretty uh, pretty fun to exchange notes and thank you also to um, Steffi Vaughn for her really enlightening uh, video that she did for Zeke and I basically giving us uh, a little bit of advice on uh, becoming new parents and stuff and uh, it's really really helpful and, and thoughtful and it really touched touched me Steffi so thank you very much for that um, so yeah, as you can imagine, a lot of stuff being prepared and stuff. Um, Amy and I bought a stroller there a while back. So, you know, just completely different things that are happening in my life and just kind of a hard, kind of finding it hard to get time to do these uh, vinyl community videos. But um, I will start, I will keep doing it. I'll look at Foster, he's twitching and sleeping. Where is he? Look, look, look at the paw going. <laughs> and now he doesn't do it. Anyway, so really happy to be back doing a video. Uh, I have to start this video off by uh, giving a huge thanks to a uh, YouTube user named Trevor. His uh, YouTube handle is TW3100. Really, really thoughtful guy um, uh, from Canada, I think Ontario, someplace. And uh, really nice fella. He, a while back he sent me. Uh, some ECM DVDs that had like probably like a hundred ECM copy, uh, you know, uh, digital files on it and stuff. It was just crazy. I haven't even really scratched the surface of it. There's just so much music, but it was really thoughtful of him. He just sent it right out of the blue, kind of thing. And again, we were talking on Facebook about particular albums, and he was mentioning that he had some doubles, and he asked if we. You know, if you could send them to me, I'm like, no, it's okay, man. It's it's all right. Like, you know, just you know, you you don't have to do that. And then next thing I know, they're here at my door. So, really nice. Thank you, Trevor. Really nice, man. I love your videos. You're uh, very um, you're very prevalent in the uh, vinyl community, and I love your seeing your comments and stuff. And you're just a good, you're just a great guy. So I'm gonna share what he sent. These were uh, doubles that he had. Um, so. Let's start off with the first record, which is uh, Return, to, Return to Forever's Romantic Warrior. I didn't have this. I've seen it quite a few times, but it's always been quite beat, so I never really picked it up. Um, so the guitar playing of Al Dimiola is just incredible on this. It's their best-selling record that Return to Forever ever did. And um, it's weird, too, that I noticed on this record that it's dedicated where did I see that? Uh, it's dedicated to L. Ron Hubbard. I didn't know this, but Chick Corea, I do believe, is him that is the huge uh, Church of Scientologist member. So I was really quite surprised to find that. But this is an incredible uh, jazz fusion um, funk in point, at points uh, record. Super impressed, like I said earlier, with Al Dimiola's guitar playing on this. I've heard some of his other stuff, and it is a little bit cheesy, but, um, you know, that's that's just me, I mean, you know, but I like I like his guitar playing on this, and of course, Stanley Clark playing the bass, just an incredible record, thank you so much, Trevor, this is awesome, I've had, I have had the pleasure to listen to this a couple of times, and uh, it's way better than I ever expected it to be, so thanks very much. And he sent uh, two more records, he sent me three records, so... Uh, this is another sort of uh, jazz fusion record by one of the members of Return to Forever, Stanley Clark, called Journey to Love. This is a really cool record also. Uh, this is his third record. Uh, some really interesting special guests that play on this. Uh, Jeff Beck and John McLaughlin play on this, so you can't go wrong with those guys. And there's the back there. And uh, yeah, just an incredible record. George Duke is on this. Chick Corea also plays on this, so... Really cool stuff. Thank you so much again, Trevor. This is 
just you didn't have to do this, man. Um, you know, it's just a testament to the love of the vinyl community and how we uh, reach out to one another as friends. And and we, by doing that, we become family, which is really cool. Like you know, and this is the third record that he sent. And I was quite surprised to see this. This is a, I had no idea what this was, but I was intrigued by it as soon as I saw it. It was, it's a, it's by Ofra Haza, and it's on, uh, it's called World Beat Ethno Pop. It's on the Shinanchi record, which, that that record label, <clears throat> if you see things by them, they usually put out, uh, you know, traditional style music and stuff. And she's a, Ofra Haza is a. Uh, uh, Israeli singer, and she does a merge of traditional music and contemporary pop styles on this. She's got a wonderful voice, and it is really cool. And Trevor basically said, uh, "Oh, I forgot to show the letter." He sent me this letter, which is really cool. And uh, you know, he said that he knew that I really like non-traditional music, and this is quite non-traditional. It's uh, it's interesting merge of. It's actually an interesting merge of traditional and contemporary sort of pop and uh, ethno uh, beat kind of stuff. The really cool stuff. I, I really enjoyed this. And look how beautiful she is. She's just all ornamental in that uh, garb. It's just incredible. So again, thank you so much, Trevor. That's really, really so kind of you. Um, and I, I appreciate it. I do, I appreciate it. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's just the generosity is, is amazing. On to, the, on to some more records that I picked up in the past two, three weeks. Some really great stuff here. Uh, some sort of mediocre stuff, but uh, this one was a really pleasant su surprise. This is a group from Glasgow, Scotland, a blues psych group called Stone the Crows. This is a, this is a uh, album called Teenage Kicks. You would think upon looking at it that it would be a sort of a Christian rock thing or whatever, you know, just from the front and the back. When they open up, you can see. So it looks like that. But uh, really cool stuff on this record. Released in 1972. This is the Gatefold. This is another thing that made me want to pick it up. Like that's just incredible artwork. I just love it. I love it. And uh, it's on Polydor. Really cool. Really excellent record, actually. Just, just an excellent record. Especially a track on here called 158, as in like the O-N-E and then 5, F-I-V-E, -E, all spelled out. You can check that out on Facebook if you like. I might put a link down at the bottom there for just of that tune, if I can find it. It's just incredible, really psych, psychedelic, just unbelievable, awesome stuff. So, Stone the Crows, they have a few other albums that are supposedly better than this, but I like this one quite a bit. Another shout out to uh, Dave, uh, David Horowitz, um, Sequoia Flame. Uh, he and uh, I do believe Mick Soapy absolutely rave about this record and I happened to find it at a really great price. It was nine bucks uh, and it's in just excellent, very good condition. Uh, this is Louis, Louis Gasca, is that his name? Is that how you say it? Yeah, Louis Gasca, an amazing trumpeter. But he also was joined by an amazing uh, uh, cast of musicians like Carlos Santana, uh, Lenny White is on here, Stanley Clark. He seems to be everywhere, Stanley Clark. But uh, this, is, this is just a fantastic record. Really cool, spiritual sort of, uh, it even has a Brazilian tinge at points and there's some more artwork on the back. Uh, just, a, just an incredible, incredible record on Blue Thumb. Uh, I won't show the record, but uh, yeah, highly recommended if you guys ever see this out and about, especially you, Zeekster, because I know you probably come across this kind of stuff all the time. I can't, I'm astonished, absolutely astonished at the records that you find for the prices that you find them. Those, those records would be so expensive here in Canada, it's unbelievable what you find. And then I watched uh, Punk Texas record, he was at this flea market and he was going through and he's just passing all these amazing records. And no, no offense to you, Punk Texas, but I would have just been like, whoa, like Alice Coltrane and like uh, Pharaoh Sanders. I just would have been scooping that stuff up at all at three dollars each. I mean, uh, I don't know the condition, but just to see those records and then seeing them passed up was just oh, I, I had to stop the I had to stop the video. I actually stopped it. 
This was a great score for two dollars. I got this for, and it's in mint condition. I don't, I don't know. Mint would be like just open, brand new, but it looks like it's never been played. How about that? And it's a promo copy, which is even better. On Sire Records, this is uh, Depeche Mode's "Music for the Masses." This is just an incredible record too. Like, uh, it's their sixth studio album, and uh, like I said, on um, on Sire Records. It has their big hit, People Are People, which I still love that song. I, I always will, I think. But uh, if you don't know Depeche Mode much, this is a pretty good place to start. There are many other albums of theirs, but uh, I love this, and so does Amy, so that makes it helpful to listen to music. <laughs> a lot of music I can't really <clears throat> listen to when she's around. I think Dr. Deadwax is in the same sort of boat, like he listens to music. Mostly when his wife goes to bed, and uh, I, I listen to music when my wife is at work, because I work overnight shifts, so I, I'm home pretty much most of the day. So anyway, yeah, that's some, that's some music that we can both listen to together. So all right, now we're into some music that I picked up that I've always wanted. This is, brings me back to my skateboarding days when I just go from spot to spot skateboarding, listening to music in my friend's car. This is some of the stuff we would listen to at like really loud volumes and stuff. But uh, this is the NWA's greatest hits, the world's most dangerous group, Ice Cube, MC Ren, Eze, e, Yala, and Dr. Dre. This is a double record, not a gatefold, which I'm always bummed at kind of thing, but uh, really cool stuff. Distinct, uh, a lot of this stuff though, I was surprised to find out is live, but not a lot, but some. Um, you know, but, uh, and some of it's remixed, and so it's like, there's this, there's a track listing there, it's kind of blurry, isn't it? But, uh, NWA, really great Los Angeles-based, um, um, uh, rap group, just really great stuff. This is what we're listening to in the background, which I was really happy to get at Second Spin a while back. It's, uh, White Hills, this is my first, first album by them. It's at the Roadburn uh, Festival in Holland, in the Netherlands. And uh, look at that artwork. It's just incredible stuff. Love it. There's the players on the back. It's a gatefold also, so I'll show you that. White Hills are just a incredible, I use that word a lot, I know, but they're just, they're so fun. They're, they're spacey, rocky. Like, just fun. Yeah, my first and probably not my last by then, White Hills. Um, here's one I picked up for two bucks. It was in great shape, I just couldn't pass it up with the lineup that's playing on it. It's uh, Cam Campuchea. Campuchea. It's uh, music for UNICEF with like many different great bands on it. Uh, the Who. Pretenders, I loved the Pretenders. When I was listening to that, I honestly thought it was uh, Patti Smith. I was like, oh, this is Patti Smith? It sounds so good. The Pretenders are really underrated, I think. Anyway, uh, this is the Gatefold, which explains what was going on. I haven't had a chance to listen or to read it yet. I've listened to some of it, but not all of it yet. But uh, really cool stuff. Two bucks, couldn't pass it up. Just a couple more, guys, and then I'll be out of your hair. I don't even know what I'm at here. 13 minutes, that's not too bad. This is a really cool record that I picked up for three bucks. It's a garage rock punk band from New York City called The Devil Dogs. This, I believe, is their first self-titled record. Um, this is a German press, too, from Hamburg. Really cool stuff. Uh, I'll show you the label. Pretty simple, I guess, but uh, yeah, three bucks, really great stuff. And the last record I got, <clears throat> I paid quite a bit of money for this, and I'm not sure if it was the best, uh, the best purchase, but parts of it are, <coughs> excuse me, I really like. Other parts are kind of uh, wishy-washy and not so, not so solid as what I've heard from this band before. But this is Hawkwind's last album before Lemmy left the band um, just uh, it's their fifth studio album and yeah it's called warrior on the edge of time and 
Yeah, I mean, it's got some great, great tracks on. I've listened to it a couple of times now. Uh, but uh, I really love Hawkman. I'm, I'm really into the space rock lately, like just the psychedelic sort of wandering, you know, just space space rock music. So that's it, guys. That's my uh, vinyl update. It feels good to be back in the saddle making a video after, it feels like a bit, but it really hasn't, I guess. I, I did the announcement with Amy, which was uh, really well received. Thank you so much for all your comments and your well wishes and stuff. Amy and I are really, really excited. Uh, you know, we'd be both lying if we weren't a little scared too, you know, just a little, uh, you know, you don't know what to expect. You just kind of, you kind of go as you, as you go, you know what I mean? You just learn as you go, kind of thing, so. Anyway, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm blabbing, so. Thanks for watching, and please comment. I love, I love uh, corresponding with everybody, so take care, guys. Bye-bye.